Welcome back to another fishing reminder video. So recently we caught a really nice kingfish. You might have seen that in our previous video. Now let's go and make a delicious meal out of it. Here's my friend Ash. Yep. Yes, G. Yes, G. Oh, no. yeah, G. We just met today. Chloe. Hi. There's Marina. Hi. And uh, good old Jack, our friend Jack. Jack's the best fisherman out of everyone. He's the best fisherman, yeah. Hi, Jack. <laughs> he, he's you catching, the, he's catching the big ones, yeah. So Ash here is a good friend and he's also a really good chef. And uh, I asked him to, cook, to help us cook this kingfish tonight. So we. Yep. A couple of different ways to see how we can get on with the skin fish. Right? Yep, we've got enough of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, yep, we're going to cook a little bit of that. Yeah. Um, and we're going to get a little bit of G's help as well because G's in a very intuitive cook. Yeah. So we got a, we got a decent sized fish to play with. Yeah, well, we only got half the king fish. I gave the other half away already because it was so it was so big when we caught it. I thought, oh, we're going to do it with those fish. But then after I gave it away, I had the idea, oh, we could come over here and when, bring it along. But there will be enough for all of them. Okay, let's do it. Let's have a little look. Yeah, come on, let's go. We gotta, we gotta take that out and put that on the on the plate. So we got the head left. That uh, looks like a good sized kingfish. Yeah, it was a pretty good. It was about a meter long. So we got the head. There's still a bunch of meat on here, on the sheet fish meat, which is fish flavor. <laughs> Make sure we don't get the fish flavor. <laughs> then, <laughs> then we got the wings which I usually quite like eating as well because mm -hmm. they got a bunch of flavor in them. Everything is still nice and cold. I also have a nice piece of dried fillet for sashimi. Yeah, we, we kept that separately in the fridge for sashimi. She makes a really nice sashimi sauce, Korean sashimi sauce. Perfect. Can't wait. So, is there a plan for the for the wings at all? They, 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 they are, they are. Mm -hmm. But um, usually we smoke them. But okay. um, I, was, I was thinking, so when we come over here and have a chat with you guys, mm -hmm. we can uh, sort of, you know, you can give us some ideas what we can do uh, because with we those don't wings. Want to be dry fish in. <laughs> I, I guess one of my favorite ways was, is probably in in, uh, in the oven just to roast them. Yeah. But I mean, you can sear them on a barbecue just to seal them. Mm. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then finish them in the oven. So oh, that's yeah. kind of low and slow yeah, for a good 40 minutes or so. Just, just yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And that way it just falls off the bone. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, that, that sounds pretty good. Mm. Do, you, do you cover it up in foil or just... No, I want it caramelly yeah, on the outside. Yeah, that's yeah. good, yeah. I can't find it. And then you'd wrap it at the end. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you for um, thank you for catching. Thanks, see. Oh, thanks, yeah. Tangara, for providing us with a with a nice skinny. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Unexpectedly, yeah. Yeah, the ones that were a little bit. Oh, look at that! Chuck some salt, salt on first with the air. Yep. It sounds pretty good. That's a good idea, just chucking a handful of salt uh, that looks very um, chefy professional. <laughs> <laughs> so we can cruise around to the garden, I'll tell you what, let's go around to the garden. Let's have a look what herbs we put on there. And we can go, we can pick a little bit of this and that. Oh man, look at this view you guys got out here. Yeah, it's just beautiful. so nice. So we got some uh, Thai basil here, yeah, eh? Thai basil, but I think mm. maybe it's a little bit pungent. We'll go for something too strong. a little bit lighter. What's that, lemon balm? Mm, lemon balm, yeah. So mm. Lemon balm is always... Anything lemony is really good with fish yeah, always, eh? Yeah, definitely. I really like uh, pineapple sage, but I normally just use it in salad, so I've never really figured out what to do with it too much. Yeah. Is 
that a few months ago, but it's gone a bit. I do need to spend some time in here. I oh, did look see. at this garden. Eh? That looks really, really healthy. I saw there was this beautiful zucchini. Zucchini here. What's in Yes, this one is a looks beautiful good. little one here. This one. Obviously, I missed the one that was hidden. This is beautiful size. Be nice. We've got a yellow one. This one is yellow, but I've got some inside. Yeah, yeah, but this yeah. is all herbs. It's got Thai basil, parsley, pineapple, sage, lemon balm, orange balm, oregano, thyme, sage. Um, I've got to the back. This is there's heaps of these are all all herbs. Um, but I'm thinking for tonight, all the basil is with the tomato. <laughs> Pumpkin. I just mm. cut a pumpkin from supermarket, dried the seeds, and threw it out. Really? And I had 18 plants. I gave everything around. I kept two. Yeah, they There's grew. Yeah, they grew crazy. I've got yeah. Heaps of butternut everywhere. It's such a nice garden. It uh, looks like so natural, you know. Mm. What's the, what? What they could? Mm. They call the food food forest, huh? Oh. <laughs> what are you cooking for us tonight, Jack? How, how good is that, having a nice herb garden right behind the house? Yeah, beautiful. Thank, thank you, Chloe. It's my beautiful, my beautiful lady. And when we put it on... It's a lemon balm, eh? Yeah. Let's see it off from one side now. Okay, we're gonna chuck it in the we're gonna chuck it in the oven. Just one side and then in yep. the oven. We're okay. gonna chuck it one side in the oven. We're gonna squeeze a little bit of this and that over the top. Yeah. It's gonna be happy days. Alright, yeah. let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the, my favorite ways to actually eat uh, kingfish is always sashimi. And Haitian being the sashimi master here. So what are you doing? I'm Asian? not the master. You're cutting, uh, so we actually dried this piece mm. uh, separately. Completely dried. Washed it and dried that and left it in I the fridge wash. for a bit of aging for, I don't know, a couple of days, two days, I think we had it in the fridge. And uh, yeah, just gonna cut that really thin and then we eat that with some uh, Korean sashimi Spice. sauce. And what so are you doing? That? You're making a salad? This is fresh salad. Oh, what's yeah? that? Garlic? These are no, yeah, little uh, mozzarella. Oh, mozzarella. Ah, mm. And we've got some basil and olives and tomato, cucumber, olive oil, salt, pepper. You don't need to do much when it's the vegetable line season. I think it's easier to just... Probably grate some garlic in there. Mm, we got we got so much nice stuff here tonight. Unbelievable. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. What did you season that? So we've got some uh, we've got some Cajun, which is a very generic seasoning, but it's lovely. It's a it's a Louisiana Ooh. Cajun. Yeah, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful spice. So gumbos. Um, Gumbos, shrimp, uh, coriander, cumin, lots of, there's, there's a whole barrage of spices in there. More salt. Are you frying that with the skin on as well? Yeah, or? yeah. yeah. Skin on, yeah. yeah. It hasn't been scaled though, so that we can, oh, right. uh, it doesn't matter, we just peel it off after it's been cooked eh? Alright, yep. Look at that. Uh, yummy. So you see how that's see how, see how that's coming over the other side? Yeah, yeah. So you'd flip that just about now, same here as well. You've you've got a good cook, you've got a good seal on one side. Alright, yeah. You can flip it over the other. This too. 
And then like, like you said, you can cook that for a little bit, it'll come up. And when it's about here, you just want to take it off. Oh, I like to wrap it in a bit of, you know, wrap it in some insulation, a little bit of foil. And then just let it till it's rested and it's beautiful and nice and soft. Oh, it's really good. Look at this big chunk there in one go. That's really easy to cook it uh, in one go on the barbecue. Yep. Yeah. This is my homemade German sourdough bread and I can't live without it. Check out how we make it. I leave a link in the description. Are you ready? Ready to fish? That is, uh, that's the one that was uh, in Cajun. Louisiana, Louisiana Cajun, spicy, uh, chili. Mm. I have a taste. That is good. It's very, very juicy as well. Very moist. Nice. I do a really good job on, on that one. On those? Mmm, mm. that's a little stitch. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. Yeah. Mmm, that's nice. Nice, huh? That is really, really nice. Nice and spicy. Mmm. Mm. Very subtle spice. Mmm. I like it. I probably would overpower a snapper, but a kingfish is really good. Yeah, Jack. It's a bit meaty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jack. <laughs> we, we forgot about Jack. Yeah, so. <laughs> what about the child? He's full of bed. Yeah, he's like, he's full yeah, of bread, right? <laughs> he's, he's We could bit. probably reheat this a little bit. Mm. I guess it oh, goes on me. Pass actually, if you start to eat this. Can't handle spice. Mm. It's very spicy. Mm. Yeah, it's baby. It's nice with the seaweed. Like mm. Back to. Mm. It's good. Good sashimi. <laughs> I'll try some too. Mm. You lick him mm. up. I think kingfish sashimi is particularly mm. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's yum. That texture, right? Eh? Mm. So Look at those wings, the wings came out of the oven. Yeah. They've been in there for quite some time, yeah, huh? Yeah, they've been in there for ages. Mm. Now, I'll just rinse and then they can start to work and it's still a bit greasy. Yeah, I think it needs a hot. So I'll um, just start that. I'll rinse. That is, that is really good. Mm -hmm. See, I think those wing, the wing meat yeah. is definitely so the best meat of the yeah. kingfish. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And I find that really interesting because I never tried to slow cook those wings. I think it's really good actually. And it's nice because you've got like smoky, you've got a smoky undertone as well. Yeah. So it's just good song. Mm. And it's just good. How good is that? Those wings are really good, man. You've got to try them. Yeah. The slow cooking and the smoky uh, searing them off in the beginning. It's a little caramel. That's really nice. That's uh, really, that's really done. It's funny, you know, when you cook a fish close to the bone or on the bone. It's just yeah, it does. It's got a beautiful, almost a gelatinous, gelatinous taste to it. Yeah. It's the wing. Mmm! Very soft. That is insane, Tate. Oh! Oh! Like a board or something. Did you put fish in this? No, 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 just fish time now. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try that next time for sure. Cooking those wings uh, a little bit slower than I used to, that makes a huge difference. Mm. Well, the evening is coming to an end now, and man, those wings, they were probably my favorite part of that fish, slow cooked wings. So good. I have to try that next time I make uh, I catch kingfish or even with a snapper. Uh, first searing off those wings a little bit and then uh, slow cooking them. So really good. A bit like chicken under really nice consistency, so just love it. 
yeah, we're gonna pick up and head home. I'm so grateful that these guys invited us over here for um, dinner and to show us how they cook a nice kingi over, over a barbecue, over an open fire. It was so great. And uh, I hope we'll be back at some time uh, with another fish and uh, yeah, have another cook up. <laughs>